Good morning, guys. Morning. It is the 4th of November, which is a Tuesday, and uh, we're on our way to work. It is a little chilly willy. It's an 8 on the uh, temperature gauge. Um, and yes, I haven't got a coat because I'm that clever. But hey, <laughs> at least I've not got flip flops on today. So, yes, off to work. Um, John's only going in for a couple of hours. Uh, and I'm there all day. But yeah, we thought we'd uh, bring you along with us today. So, so I've finished work. It's half past nine. And I wanted to go to Tesco's. Not because I particularly like Tesco, just because it's the closest place. Um, yeah, I think I'm fine. I got right away. Some people. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go to Tesco, pick up some bacon and some more coffee for my machine, and um, yeah, then I'm gonna wait for Rob. Rob's gonna meet me, he's having his car breaks done or something like that. So, um, I'm gonna pick him up in a minute from my, I think I'll meet him at Tesco because the garage is around the corner. Um, and um, yeah, so I was saying, yeah, so Rob, Rob's coming round for a bit. We've got a proposal to do. I'm going to put together a presentation. Um, yeah, the stuff can't really talk about. Obviously, it's rugby stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to have coffee and some bacon sandwiches. And um, do some work. And see how this morning pans out. We've got Rob here. We're gonna go home and um, have breakfast, coffee, and sandwiches, bacon butter, and uh, top some rugby stuff. Busy, productive day coming up. I bet we sit there talking about kit all morning. Yeah. So all we have to do, we all we have to do is talk about kit. Oh, what new kit can we have? Sad, isn't it? Eh? Stash. So it is lunchtime already. This morning is going super quick. Um, I have no idea what I actually want for my lunch. So I'm kind of these bad boys. Um, the what brand are these? Snacker Jack chocolate rice corn cakes, and I have. A hot Ribena. Mm. But yeah. I've got soup, but I don't know if I can be bothered. Um, so, yes, so it's lunchtime, and I'm having a little look on the Simply Be website. As um, one of my friends told me yesterday that she went to order a Christmas jumper off of Simply Be, and it was already out of stock and it didn't have a date of when it's coming back in. So I'm like, ooh, Christmas jumper. <laughs> so I want to order that. And also, because I'm very much a dress person, I like, that's what I have mostly. Um, but it's been really cold the last few days. So I'm kind of thinking to get a couple of long sleeve tops and maybe some jumpers to wear with jeans and uh, save the dresses for, for warmer days. So I thought I'd have a little look. Quite love Simply Be. I think it's kind of awesome. Right, a little bit of retail therapy, and then back to work. We're just in the bathroom, and uh, the commotion. We've been in there for a minute. I've come out, the post is in the middle of the living room. Darwin, leave it. And um, I walked out to find Darwin is destroying some of the free rubbish that you get put through the door. And um, Gilly was uh, also sat watching. Gilly? No. So Rob's gone. Um, oh, sorry Darwin. Yeah, Rob's gone. Um, it's a productive morning, afternoon. It's like half past two, three o'clock, half past two. And uh, yeah, it's um, a lot longer than what we sort of hoped, but you know, it's because... Oh, phone's ringing now. Can't be bothered. What was that? 
So the phone was ringing. I didn't answer it because I never do during the day. It's usually PPI trying to sell me summer or something to that extent. So I didn't bother. Um, so yeah, a lot longer than what we thought. Um, basically, I picked Rob up from Tesco because it's right next to the garage that he uses. And um, yeah, they rang him up and there was more stuff wrong with his car than what he thought. So it took a bit longer. And as I picked him up and was dropping him back, he sort of stayed longer. So yeah, half past two. Um, I'm going to pick Katie up at four. So, Darwin, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? Anyway, I'm rambling now. Um, so, yeah. Day off's pretty much gone already. Never mind. What is on the talk? What's wrong, buddy? Darwin's here. You're not talking, are you? <coughs> oh, What's wrong? Come on. <coughs> hey. <laughs> not wrong. Representative. He's got some form of like little doggy thing on. And kill it, he's fixated with it. He was half asleep and then that advert come on. I and mean, he just jumped up to life and he's been sat there looking glaring at the telly ever since. Look at that. Crazy. And Darwin's here. Just went for a stroke. And Gilly's still watching the telly. Fix that. Oh, it's ten to four. I best go and get Katie from work. Um oh, tired. I've um, just spent the last Half an hour watching a few old vlogs from October. See what we got up to, all the crazy stunts we did at the beginning of the month. And um, yeah, it was cool. Here you go. So, I'm on my way to pick Katie up. It's raining again. It's gone colder. It's going darker. Yeah. I feel like a taxi service today. What do you mean? It's like. I went work, dropped Katie off at work. Finished work, picked Rob up. Sort some stuff out, drop Rob back. Go on for an hour, pick Katie up. It's right. It's like, a bit weird, isn't it? But, um, yeah. So, funny old day. Well, I got some stuff done. Looked at some kit. Work some figures out, boring stuff like that, to some potential new sponsors and all that. To be honest, we were like talking about so much random stuff this morning, when really anything that could include you guys in, all a bit private and confidential. I can't tell all the lads, I can't tell you guys, can I? You're a bit wrong, that. So, um, yeah, it's been a funny old day. What? Oh, we're getting there. Oh, I'm rambling again. Oh, I'll leave you to it. I'll see you in a bit. Well, I've just arrived outside Katie's work. I look straight up to her desk. So the desk is right in front of the window and on the first floor. I'm straight up to her desk, computer's on. Look again, she's on the phone. And it's five past four, finishes at four, still on the phone, computer's still on. She probably hate me for saying this now, but she loves her job. She says she hates it at times, but she loves it. So right, now, still on the phone, waving to me. Um, yeah, so, sit here and wait for a bit. Hi guys! Yo! Um, so, it's like ten past four and John's picked me up from work and are we going straight home? Yeah. Going straight home to see my puppies. I'm home, put my hair up, put my jammy bottoms on. I have a really itchy eye for some reason. 
and it is a bit chilly willy so I think I might get to put the heating on tonight yeah the man called John Beachy so yes and even though I have a fridge full of healthy nutritious food the one thing I truly fancy is curry and I don't have anything like I don't have a sauce or anything and I'm not clever enough with spices to make my own and I mentioned it to John because John doesn't normally pick curry in fact I can't remember the last time we had a curry takeaway can you? no ages and John agreed so I'm like yes 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 so I think we'd have um curry for tea and takeaway um, I'm not quite sure if anything past curry is going to really happen tonight because I'm, we're having a super early night tonight because John has to be at work. Is it half six? You've got to be there. Got to be there by seven. Normally. Okay. So normally we get to work at like ten to eight. John has to be at work at seven. Um, obviously the roads would be a bit quieter so it won't take you as long to drive but it's still like got to get up an hour earlier than we normally get up and I normally get up well like this morning I was up at half past six so definitely need an early night if I'm going to get up that early in the morning um, but yeah we should uh, figure out which takeaway that we're going to order from and here is a scrummy looking curry. So I've had tea and the boys have had tea and we were planning on going for a walk, um, but it is pouring down with rain. So, and Darwin doesn't do getting wet. He is a bit of a diva. So John has gone for a bath. I have lit all the candles, like I'll show you. One there, three there, and then I've got one there, and one there. It's smelling very festive because that's pumpkin spice, that one is cinnamon and apple, warm vanilla over there, and then the other three I think are all vanilla and something. So yeah, it's smelling all scrummy, so I'm going to turn the main lights off now and i'm gonna watch last night's walking dead because john doesn't like that show so as he's in the bath i'll watch that and you can't see much but you probably can hear the john's bath running this is what it looks like with all the lights turned off just the candles i find this all snug yo so that's the end of tuesday 4th of November. Um, it's bedtime. It's only half nine, but i um, got to be up at half five, so I'm going to call it a day. Um, I've had a bath, in case watch some TV. And um, yeah, I'm going to go to bed. So, I don't actually know what I'm saying. Saying goodnight. So, goodnight. <laughs> And uh, we'll see you soon.